If you're watching this, at some point you've probably wondered what it'd feel like to escape the bonds of Earth's gravity. What it'd feel like to float around effortlessly and elegantly. Okay, maybe not so elegant at first, but anyway, this is how you, here on Earth, can literally cancel out gravity. Meet the G-Force One. A Boeing 727 that's been hollowed out on the inside, to make room for the fun, of course. It's currently the only plane in the United States that regularly conducts commercial zero-gravity flights. But what makes the G-Force One so special? Actually, not much. It's really no different than the planes you see at the airport. And to prove it to you, I took some brave friends in this four-seater Cessna 172, this plane, and simulated zero-gravity myself. Yeah, that was crazy. So how does it work? The force of gravity here on Earth accelerates downward toward our planet's core at 9.8 meters per second squared. That's what's keeping us on the ground. But if we can somehow match gravity's acceleration, we'd be able to cancel it out entirely. Thus came the bright idea of plummeting a plane toward the ground at, you guessed it, 9.8 meters per second squared. This is how the G-Force One, or anybody crazy enough, achieves zero gravity. If you're wondering, it felt absolutely unreal. And what's interesting is, no matter how much you try and prepare for an experience like this, your body just instinctively kicks and paddles like you're swimming or something. But once you get the hang of it, you get to do the fun stuff like flipping around uncontrollably, or throwing people to other people, or drinking water in mid-air, or walking on the ceiling of an airplane. <laughs> That's probably what I brag about the most. But the G-Force One flies in a series of parabolas, so passengers inside the plane experience weightlessness for about 30 seconds at a time. And after descending about 10,000 feet, the pilots then climb back up to a safe altitude for the next gravity-canceling drop. <laughs> Another cool thing about these flights is that, before each drop, the plane enters a super steep 45 degree climb. So now we're actually fighting against gravity. Instead of feeling weightless, you feel twice as heavy. That's why everyone's lying down on the floor like this. But once we hit 34,000 feet again, it quite literally takes the weight off your shoulders. So would you board a plane knowing it's falling toward the earth on purpose? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like this video as well and subscribe to Flying Ostrich for more awesome adventures to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on SimpleSide.